Mr. President, welcome back. Always great to have you on the show. Well, thank you very much. I want to uh, I want to begin with Israel, Mr. President, because Sunday marks six months since October 7th. And you gave an interview recently to Israel Hayom, which was characterized by many on the left as being critical of Israel. Then Jonathan Tobin writes this morning, wait a minute, that's not right. Trump was the friendliest president ever for Israel. Have you been mischaracterized in your advice to Israel? Well, you know, with the fake news, you never know what you're going to get. You can say something very plainly. Uh, and they'll turn it around. They'll turn around everything. That's why they're fake. Look, uh, Israel should have never happened. If I were president, it would not have happened. Iran was broke. They had no money. They had no nothing. And uh, we would have worked to deal with Iran. It would have been made already. In the meantime, they're going to have a nuclear weapon within probably 45 or 60 days. And, and then it's going to be a little tougher to talk to them. But October 7th would have never happened. They never, ever would have been attacked. But it is what it is, and this horrible thing happened. And what I said very plainly is, get it over with, and let's get back to peace and stop killing people. And that's a very simple statement. Get it over with. they got to finish what they finish. They have to get it done. Get it over with, and get it over with fast. But you are still standing 100% with Israel. You, you achieved the Abraham Accords, which was the first peace deal since right. Sadat. And so are you still 100% with Israel? And what's your advice to Netanyahu beyond get it over with in a hurry? Well, that's all the advice you can give. I mean, that's the advice. you got to get it over with, and you have to get back to normalcy. And I'm not sure that I'm loving the way they're doing it because you got to have victory. You have to have a victory. And it's taking a, a long time. And the other thing is, I hate they put out tapes all the time. Every night they're releasing tapes of a building falling down. They shouldn't be releasing tapes like that. They're doing, that's why they're losing the PR war. They, Israel is absolutely losing the PR war. That's how I, I read your interview. I read your interview as saying they're losing the PR war. They've got to stop releasing bad video and win the they're war releasing- by going into Rafa. They're releasing the most heinous, most horrible tapes of buildings falling down. And people are imagining there's a lot of people in those buildings or people in those buildings. And they don't like it. And I don't know why they release, you know, wartime shots like that. I guess it makes them look tough. But to me, it doesn't make them look tough. They're losing the PR war. and They're losing it big. But they've got to finish what they started and they've got to finish it fast. And we have to get on with life. Then you shall take an awl, and thrust it through his ear to the door, and he shall be your servant forever. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 17. You know, we had the strongest border ever. In recorded history, we had the best border. In fact, if they could ever put up a chart, I don't know if they can do it. Do you guys have access to that chart that I love so much? You don't mind if I go off teleprompter, do you? Because these teleprompters are so damn boring, I try and explain that. Oh, it is? Wow. You guys are doing it. They're getting better with time. My guys. Take a look at that chart. Take a look at the arrow on the bottom. See the big red, the red arrow? And look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. President Trump's right ear was grazed in a symbolic gesture of Exodus 21.6, where the Torah states that a servant who wants to remain with his master needs to have his right ear pierced. And the fact that this earth-shattering event occurred in a little village called Butler is also significant, because that is exactly what I believe President Trump was anointed for.
uh, please, redress, redress. What in the assassination? Is your ear fully recovered? Is there a scar? Do you have any yeah. hearing damage from pretty, that? Uh, pretty much recovered, yeah. I'm a fast healer. It's a hell of a shot, but I'm a fast healer. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much recovered. No, it didn't hit that. I got very lucky. It, it just, it just hit the, the lobe, as they call it. On your ear? Yeah, a little bit, not much. On top. I'm going to ask if I can ask you. On immigration. A little bit. On immigration.